guys so it's time there's the proud daddy to be say hi I'm just sitting here waiting for contractions to get stronger huh so that we can push her out. The last time I was checked, I was about three centimeters dilated. Cervix is ripened and ready to go. Baby's head could be felt by the doctor. So she's down there waiting to come out. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. You want snacks? I want to go buy some food. It's almost nice. Oh my gosh. I knew this was going to happen. Who eats snacks? Anyways, guys, I'll check back in with you later. As you can see from the footage before, I was induced at around three o'clock. The contractions started picking up maybe around four or five o'clock. Around six o'clock, they checked me and I was about five centimeters dilated. They continued to up the dosage of the Pitocin until nine o'clock. I think they checked me then um, around then again, or maybe around 11 p.m. at night, I can't remember. But when they did check me, I was still about um, five centimeters. I was super effaced, but progress was still slow. By 11 minutes to 12 midnight, we were at the highest dosage of Pitocin. So a little after midnight, the doctor and the nurses came in and they were like, look, you are at the highest dosage of Pitocin um, where we would, that we could give you. If we go any higher, we'd have to put in a catheter and, some, and a monitor to monitor the baby's blood pressure levels and your blood pressure or oxygen level something I don't know it was just too complicated and I didn't want to catheter in I wanted a natural birth so I said go ahead and break the water when they broke the water that's when everything went crazy up until I had the water break I I felt no pain, maybe just mild 
menstrual pains but nothing serious it didn't feel like real contractions i mean i could see my stomach i know that the tocin was working because my stomach was literally going like like that is the most intense contractions i've ever seen so i know it was working but i felt no pain when they broke the water oh my gosh at, while while the doctor was breaking the water i could feel a contraction coming on and i was like ah yeah that hurts now I had about six contractions that kept getting painful each time. So here goes, I was pacing back and forth, like, oh my gosh, trying to breathe through it. The nurse was coming in and out, rubbing my back. My husband was rubbing my back, saying it's okay, just breathe. Da -da -da -da. And at some point the nurse came in and was like, okay, are you feeling pressure? I was like, yes, a little bit. So she said, okay, so if you're starting to feel pressure now, then now would be the time to get the epidural. This is the last chance to get the epidural. So do you want the epidural? If you want the epidural, then speak now or forever hold your peace, basically. I was like, no, no, I want to try to go without it. So fast forward a few minutes later, she walks out like, okay, I'll be right back. Let me check something as I was still going through the last few contractions. And like a minute or so later, I told my husband, call back the nurse, call back the nurse. I can't take it anymore. I need that epidural. And as I'm saying that, I'm like starting to get up and try to pace back and forth. Mind you, I have like the, what do you call those things that they wrap around your baby to monitor the belly? I had that on. I had the IV in for the Pitocin um, or whatever fluids I was getting. I can't remember if they took it out, but I had a whole bunch of things on me and I just kept like dragging it around. And my husband's like, just sit down, calm down. I'm like, I can't con calm down. These contractions hurt. So he calls the nurse. The nurse comes in and he, before he calls the nurse, he's like, yeah, but she just told you if you wanted the epidural do it now and i was like i don't care call her so he called her she came in and she's like you know i told you and i was like i know but i need it i need it so she's like okay and i know she was just like oh my gosh this girl but she probably understood so she but at the same time i know she knew that this girl is not gonna get this epidural so she was taking her sweet time going in and out with the medications and whatever they need for the epidural and she came back and i'm like what's taking so long where's the anesthesiologist she's like i'm gonna get him right now don't worry so she walks out and the last two contractions came and i'm like okay this i i can't do this anymore so i started standing up and i'm like she's got to come out she's got to come out and my husband he's like what no right now no wait you gotta wait and i was like i can't i can't she's coming so i started i'm like i started ripping everything off like get this stuff off of me get this belt off of me get these cords off of me i gotta get everything off she's coming right now and he's like no you can't take those off i'm like i need to take them off so i just started ripping everything off and i'm like i i gotta push i gotta push she's like no 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 i'm like call the nurse so i i hop on the bed and i'm like she's coming and that last contraction, I just had to push. And for a minute, I don't know, my brain just went somewhere else. I felt like I was pooping. But anyways, I was like, call the nurse. He's like, what? I don't know what button to press. I'm like, the cross. And then all you hear is, nurse's line, how can we help you? And from me, all you hear is, ah, ah. And then my husband is like, I help the babies out and I just felt like I was pooping and the next thing I knew I felt like this sense of relief and I was like man that felt like a huge round poop and then I looked down and I'm like oh crap that's a baby that's a baby's head and I was like she's out and as I said that the nurse was running in and between him and my husband they grabbed her pulled her out the doctor didn't even get to make it back in. So we pulled her out. She was wrapped and tangled in all the cords. Miko, don't go under there. She was wrapped and tangled in all the cords. And <laughs> I just grabbed her from um, chasing the nurse and 
held her to my chest while they finished entangling the cords and cleaning her off. And I sat on the bed with her. They cleaned her off. And as soon as her head popped out, by the way, she let out this huge cry. It was awesome. But yeah. Unfortunately, we couldn't record it. But everything happened so fast. Like, I really didn't expect that to go from 0 to 100 like that. I thought it was going to gradually increase. But yeah, 12.45 the water was broken and at 109 a.m 45 minutes later like six horrible contractions throughout that time and she was here Good morning. Good morning, princess. You looking around? Hmm? You looking around? Just looking around, enjoying the scenery. Hmm? Like, what is this place? Who are these people? Show me your gifts from the baby. And everybody just met baby sister. 